the oceans. Today we begin our discussion of oceans. The world, of course, is filled with 70% ocean, and um, the study of oceans is fascinating. We're just going to spend shortly a short period of time on this, but I hope that we learn a ton of information and just get fascinated by this amazing thing called the oceans. We're going to focus on the causes of ocean circulation. So we're going to talk about how the oceans actually circulate. They, well, there are streams of water flowing. So let's talk about that. The oceans of the world, just a brief introduction to the oceans. Of course, you know there's the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, and of course the Pacific Ocean over here, and the Antarctic Ocean. There's sort of the Arctic Sea up here too, but that's kind of, you know, it's hard to wait to figure out how you want to organize the oceans, but yeah, we can. Um, the ocean's an amazing place. The average depth of the ocean is 12,400 feet. That, my friends, is deep, really deep. I mean, how deep? Deep. Very deep. That makes it very dark, very cold. And at the, these deep, 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 deep pressures, you find that it's um, got high pressures because there's so much water on top. So it's just a fascinating place, sort of the last exploration place of the world. We've got no more about space than we do about the deep parts of the oceans. Um, let's talk about warm and cold oceans. Well, the ocean is layered by temperature. There's an upper warm layer. So if we look at the ocean here, there's kind of the warm part up here, and then there's the cold, dark ocean down here. So there's kind of these layers of the ocean. We'll have a, 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 or a, a graphic in just a couple of slides that I think you'll want to copy down. Um, let's do a just quick little video clip that shows you an introduction to the oceans that I found on YouTube. So let's go ahead and watch this. From afar, the world is blue with an all-encompassing ocean, the source of all life. Without the ocean, Earth would be as bleak, as barren, as Mars or the Moon. With every drop of water you drink, every breath you take, you're connected to this no matter where on Earth you live. Life in the sea generates about 70% of the oxygen in the atmosphere absorbs much of the carbon dioxide. The ocean drives climate and weather, regulates and stabilizes temperature, shapes Earth's chemistry. Water evaporates from the surface of the sea, forms clouds that return water to land and sea as rain, sleet, and snow. covers nearly three quarters of the Earth's surface, but that's just the surface. The average depth is four kilometers, the maximum 11 kilometers, seven miles down. Ninety-seven percent of Earth's water is ocean. It should be no surprise that 97% of Earth's living space is ocean space. The greatest abundance and diversity of life is there, with forms that represent nearly all of the major categories of plants, animals, and microbes that exist on Earth. holds most of the world's mountains. Entire chains of peaks that run down the major ocean basins like giant backbones. Most of the planet's volcanoes are in the sea, many forming the underpinnings of islands such as Hawaii, the Galapagos, Iceland, and thousands of others. With 
with new technologies, submarines, ships, satellites, we've discovered more about the ocean in the past half century than during all preceding history. Yet most of the ocean, about 95%, has yet to be seen by human eyes, let alone explored. All right. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Now, let's uh, talk about the layers of the ocean. It turns out that the ocean has, well, layers. The, the top layer is the sunlight zone. You can kind of see right here. Then we have the twilight zone. That means it's dark, but not super dark. And then and the batholithic joint, uh, zone, it's dark. The midnight zone means it's just dark. And the abysmal joint. So there's like four main layers. And then we've got the hodl zone. Hey, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. The hadal zone, which is are the trenches. But basically, this gets you through, um, yeah. This is where the continental shelf is. I think we haven't talked about it. You know, we talked about with uh, plate tectonics is that there's this continent, and then the, the actual continent uh, drops off. There's this huge drop off, maybe 20 miles, 30 miles off the coast of the ocean, and then there's this huge drop off into the deep, deep parts of the ocean. Now, granted, sometimes you're going to have you know a mid-ocean ridge like you might have right here or something like that, but that's it's a very deep place. Um, let's watch another clip. Um, uh, about these parts of the ocean. And it's actually from Finding Nemo. Remember Nemo right here? And so this is Nemo down here. And uh, we're going to watch a little clip from Finding Nemo. And actually, what I want you to pay attention to is Nemo's teacher. Because Nemo's teacher, the stingray, he is going to talk about um, the different layers of the ocean in a little song there. First time at school. He was born with it, kids. We call it his lucky fin. Dude, see this tentacle? It's actually shorter than all my other tentacles. But you can't really tell, especially when I twirl them like this. I'm H2O intolerant. <laughs> I'm obnoxious. Oh, let's name the zones, the zones, the zones. Let's name the zones of the open sea. <laughs> Oh, you better stay with me. Epilogic, metapologic, metapologic, all the rest are too deep for you and me to see. Huh, I wonder where my class has gone. <laughs> oh, there you are. Come aboard, explorers. All knowledge exploring is oh so lyrical when you pick thoughts that are empirical. Dad, you can go now. Well, hello, who is this? I'm Nemo. Well, Nemo, all new explorers must answer a science question. Okay. You live in what kind of home? In an anemone. Anemone. Okay, okay, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Welcome aboard, explorer. Just so you know, he's got a little fin. I find if he's having trouble swimming, I let him take a break. 10, 15 Dad, minutes. Dad, it's time for you to go now. Don't worry. We're going to stay together as a group. Okay, class. Optical orbits up front. And remember, we keep our super sophageal ganglion to ourselves. That means you, Jimmy. Oh, man. Oh, I Bye, Nemo. Bye, Dad. Bye, son. Bye, son.